Okay, one more thing. When you accuse me of being with one girl, right? A, most pedophiles go after more than one child, right? No, <laughs> no. Well, then, how can you accuse me of being with only one girl, right? No, <laughs> no. That's why I keep making up other stories for you, right? You think Daphne's the only woman I ran into who had a child, boy or girl, before I met her? Right. <laughs> About the majority of them did, right, actually, right. Now, Mary Bell, I don't know if she had a child or not, right, at all, at all. But she's not acting like she can even commit to me for some reason, right. Even after I divorced my ex-wife a year later, in 1995, right? Mm-hmm. Because I started in 94 when I got legally separated for a year, right? And started doing the paperwork before or during the time I met Mary Bell. And I was telling her in the uh, mm -hmm, letters that I was really divorced with my wife and done like other men, I wasn't trying to lead her on. I really am. I really am, right? But uh, for some reason, she wouldn't leave Bart, right? You know what I mean? For me, <laughs> she kept saying he was possessive and he would kill us. Even though she called him from our home, right? my home, my apartment. I'm sorry, right? If you know what I mean, one time, right? And he starts to see us, right? I mean, he called us back. <laughs> you know, it starts to see us, right? Right? <laughs> when you have the old rotary phones. In 94, still working. <laughs> now it's all sales, but anyway, anyway. Back then, you can star 69 somebody <laughs> and call him back. Well, Bart called back. I picked up the phone. He asked his bear about that. I can turn the phone to you. Up. Right. Told you that happened too, right? Once, once. <laughs> well, after that, he's got my number. He can call me anytime he wants. Right. <laughs> Why didn't he keep calling us every time you came by for that, dude? Right? I mean, come on, right? I think you wanted him back, and he didn't want you back, right? No, <laughs> no. Because what girl who wants a new boyfriend hangs out more with her ex-boyfriend, right? Or uses Steve as kind of a go-between, like he's taking her to him, right? And that's why I followed you that day anyway, you know? But you arrest me, but not Bart. <laughs> I mean, why don't you arrest him? <laughs> and put him in jail for stalking, right? If he's stalking you too, like you said, you would put him in jail too. Right, or you wanted him back and he wouldn't take you back because he felt guilty about cheating on you. I'm not done, Mary Bell. But if you did get pregnant, it was in spite of Bart, right? Not because he ever wanted you back, right? <laughs> and now you're acting pissed off if I got you pregnant over Scott, too, right? Because the birth weight choice is back to eight months, not six, <laughs> right? Even, even. There's no way a baby can develop that fast in six months, right? If you meet the guy in December, and where his life was supposed to be in September. One's eight months and one's six months, by the way. Right. I don't know. Do the math. September, October, November, December. Right. See, the last month we were together is the last month you have from October, November, December. That's three months, right? Plus five and a half is eight and a half months, right? Uh-huh. Still within an eight-month period. Plus, you said you were on birth control pills. Which also means you're not trying to get pregnant by me, right? At all, at all. So if you turned up pregnant, I don't know how, and you don't know how, but the only other way is if something was wrong with the birth control pills. Or something somehow backfired, I don't know, I don't know. But I also met another girl with her, how can that get you pregnant? I ain't never heard of that crap. <laughs> or there's something wrong with the birth control pills, right? Like I said, right now, no. That didn't seem to matter back in the 70s when they started doing it as well, using them as well, right? 
Now, if you took him wrong, you can get pregnant too, but I don't think you were doing that where you were right? But the birth weight don't lie, right? <laughs> you can lie about it if you want to believe a Scott over mine, right? I can't do nothing about that. I didn't purposely, right, think if I cheated on you, you would get pregnant or something, right? But the birth weight don't lie, right? Now, you can lie. But if you show me a birth certificate, you got to show me a birth certificate with the weight on it. That was the only difference, I know, with the one you showed me and the one I have from Georgia. Mine shows my birth weight at 6 pounds, 13 ounces. The one you showed me didn't show a birth weight, but what, did you edit that out? <laughs> I don't know. Which still means you edited it or something, right? But usually both birth certificates has at least the birth weight, right? I don't know. But that would be proof he could be mine. Now, if he's under two, I would believe he's got, so that wouldn't even be a problem. And I'm glad we broke up. <laughs> I'm glad we broke up. I know, I know. You never loved me. I didn't feel like you did, right? You're not disappointed if your ex-girlfriend gets two weeks later pregnant anyway if you broke up with her by that time, right? <laughs> so what's the problem, right? I <laughs> know. It's still two weeks off. It's still not like, you know, I was the only guy you were with, was I? Right, right. But that's not the reason I broke up here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you also promised to move with me back to Georgia when I finally did. You didn't move, right? There was no commitment the whole time, right? I think once you start having sex with me, it didn't work. And, right? So periodically to kind of keep me hanging on, like the song says, <laughs> you would just have sex with me, right? Not even worrying about it, right? <laughs> and you never wanted to marry me, and I figured that out after 18 months. I know. And broke it off with you. <laughs> you don't even care if I could have gotten you pregnant. Enough to even give me a DNA test to find out, right? I mean. But that means you're doing me the opposite of what Daphne did. <laughs> Meaning she didn't want her son to be raised without birth, you know, child support, right? <laughs> From the father, right? <laughs> at least, at least. If I'm going to have your child pay me for that shit, right? You didn't care if I even paid you because you wouldn't even get a DNA test, right? And then there's the question of, did you have a quickie divorce from Scott or what? Or what right? Scott can cite the birth weight alone himself <laughs> as reasons for the divorce, right? But then you can say, well, I'm on a DNA test usually from him or me, right? And that's what a woman usually does <laughs> to determine parentage, right? If you didn't get the DNA test with Scott or me, and you had a child or not, right? I can't even prove you had a child, right? Even with the lousy birth certificate you sent me in, and a picture of one son, right? Who looked Asian and Caucasian and could pass for our child or any man, really, really, who's with an Asian woman, usually the child takes up the Asian features of the Caucasian, right? Same as if you're African, but difference with African is the skin can also get lighter, right? Until the child might look white one day. <laughs> Why do you think that is, Africans? Right. We can mix together like you do paint. Right, right. If you mix white and black, you get what color? Gray. Gray. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you be it's a darker skin color with a lighter skin color, you get a lot lighter brown color. A lighter brown color, right? Why brown? We're not totally black or white. We're not totally black or white. <laughs> like I keep telling you, this is black, this is white. The ink is black. <laughs> the page is white. Together we learn to read and write. Mm -mm. A child is black. A child is white, but the whole of us upon the side, a beautiful sight. Ever heard that one? 
I heard that one growing up. <laughs> you heard that one on the radio growing up. I, I forgot. I think it's Three Dog Night. He was like, but that is the whole point. All right. But no one is really black like midnight or white as snow. <laughs> and, uh, and it's more metaphoric when you say it. Right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> like I keep saying, right? Now, I keep asking you, though, if I was around two other girls, right? Older than four. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would also have to sleep in the living room on either a love seat or a couch. I oh, know. Why didn't I have... Either girl try to seduce me there, right? I mean, all they would have to do is those, like men to go into the living room, right? and they could even blackmail me in the second because I couldn't do that about it. But lay there and say, "Well, you got to take off my shorts or something, right? If you want sex with me, I'm not sure I should do that, right? <laughs> what if the girl did? Am I being blackmailed into the sex <laughs> or trying to have sex with a young girl? Uh huh. <laughs> Would that be an exception to that rule? <laughs> and it ain't normally happened at all. <laughs> right. With any other girl I was dating. And another girl had a baby under two. Right, right. That was Rose, like I told you, right. And I had never even made a move on that girl. I wasn't, that child, that wasn't even an issue, right. I was only trying to be Rose, right. So why in one out of two of the women who had a child old enough, right, where I might could have been even seduced or blackmailed into the sex, right, are you sure this one child out of all the whole children I was around tried to have sex with me, right, when she was sleeping with her mom? <laughs> Unless the mom knows the girl woke me up, right? Because I brought her back in there too hard, right? Now, if the bomb didn't love me like Mary Bell or Daphne or any of the others, <laughs> Daphne herself didn't love me and only married me because of her mom wanting her to have a stable man in her life or <laughs> a husband, right? It wasn't done in love. <laughs> Though I married her in love, you understand? You're trying to find a wife. I'm trying to find a wife. Right now. But it don't mean I would even go after Amanda as she got older, right? How many times do I got to tell you that, right? <laughs> I'm in Georgia. Amanda would have to come to Georgia, have sex with me. Me not even know it again, right? <laughs> Leave Georgia, right? Go back to Texarkana or Houston, wherever the hell she was living, right? It actually seduced her except that, right? Because <laughs> I never left Georgia to even be around her, right? I'm not going to go to Arkansas, <laughs> which is where Daphne was from anyway, or back to Virginia once I left Virginia, right? I'm home now. I don't even care about those two states. Nor St. Louis, where Missouri, where she said she was from. Am I right? <laughs> Did I do that? No. With none of the ex-girlfriends, right? I'm not even really a stalker. I just didn't know why Gina broke up with me so I was writing her a lot of letters. But I don't think it was as much as they said, but unless someone else was writing her as well, like the shit ain't three. And see, they would have to write her type letters whereas I was writing her handwritten letters because I didn't have no damn typewriter, right? But if they did write her and you knew it, <laughs> and I didn't know they wrote her, hmm. that's called sabotage in my relationship with Sheena, right? I wouldn't even think they would do that, but they could, because one of the guys was responsible for typing up Lieutenant Gibbs' reports, right? And guess what I would tell him? Well, you better type it up perfectly like you were for G Lieutenant Gibbs. Because I was a great typist in high school. Right. I just had to pick between both of the or electrician, and I chose electrician. Right. That wasn't even offered to me as a rating. Right. Not lying. I'm not lying. 
But I'm not telling the truth anymore either, right? My highest grade in typing was a 78. That's a lot, C+. Plus. <laughs> C+. Plus. <laughs> Actually, I was a C plus student, right? In typing. I'm still making mistakes now. <laughs> I get my G's and H's confused even on a damn... <laughs> You understand what's going on here? A hateful ex-wife <laughs> is the only one who can accuse me. <laughs> not a lovey one, not one who wanted me, <laughs> but one who would set me up with her own daughter to entrap me, right? What's the difference between entrapment, right, and me bringing back to her, <laughs> and her... Caring about me, right? Or not, right? If I brought her back to me, no one would even know it, right? Unless it's the bio dad, Sal, himself, right? And he did something crazy, right? And he would have to coach the child to wake me up. That's also grooming the child to wake up her sleeping stepdad. <laughs> yes, it would be. That's the only other possibility. And even then, if Daphne didn't care for 11 years until I got on YouTube, why would she suddenly go crazy on it, over it, right? And obsess over something only the bio dad could have done, right? Which is coach her to wake someone up sleeping on the couch in the middle of the night, right? And I can't tell you if it happened or not, because I failed three stories. Within two weeks later, right? I moved back days, right? So I remember this how, right? Or if the two other girls who were over around 12, right? Tried to seduce me or not, right? But the problem is the roommate and mm -hmm. the mom were there. And the mom and the daughter were in the back bedroom. And I was again, was where? I was on the couch, right? I just met the mom and the daughter that night, right? Now, me and the mom kind of hooked up that night, right? And I slept on the couch still, right? And I read the daughter, like I told you, a bedtime story, right? But the weird thing is her boyfriend, <laughs> she kicked him out for some reason, right? Now, I'm not thinking about this at all. I'm just glad I found me another woman, right? <laughs> That's how I am when I have sex with a woman. I don't try to use you for sex. So make it work out. Make it work out. There again, I had to go back to where, Virginia. I was almost convalescent leave after I felt right. And I still got it up for three other women, right? And then met Mary Bell. And then met Mary Bell. <laughs> and got it up for her, too, right? <laughs> Until... 18 months later when she wouldn't commit and then I was with Michelle and Mary Bell right <laughs> now how does that show a pattern of me going after children if I'm only with growing ass women right <laughs> it don't <laughs> and at least four of the women did have children from a previous relationship even the one at the Carol Mattel said the man she was with had just gotten her pregnant and wouldn't stop wanting to have sex with her. <laughs> and she didn't want another baby with him. <laughs> Come on, right? So here I am walking around on crutches in my uh, new Chevy Cavalier I just got, right? And it's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> and I got it from my Uncle Harvey, right? <laughs> We know what that means here. <laughs> it's a Weinstein situation, maybe. Right. But still, <laughs> you don't need to know any more details of that, but still. Right. That's because the person involved don't want me talking about it on her end, right? Or their end, right? And I don't really talk about it, but I can and can't, right? Use that SCU as the point. Well, they say they don't want you to talk about it. And they usually threaten you with a gun. <laughs> well, you think I can threaten my ex-wife if I didn't even own the gun? 
Well, can I do karate her to death? <laughs> Even when I took tournament karate, we weren't teaching each other to knock each other out. <laughs> Even when she blocked the door, I just picked her up and put her in the mattress of the bed next to me. <laughs> I didn't hit her, I know he didn't hit her. <laughs> but that might have been worse to her, you know what I mean? Oh, well, he threw me in the bed, well, yeah, you know, you're blocking the door, right? And you're acting irate, mad, right? <laughs> Why you have this baby inside of you? <laughs> and after six months, you couldn't abort it in Virginia either, I know you can't. See? I figured it all out. Hindsight's twenty twenty. they say, right? Daphne never loved me, Mom, right? She was using me to get her daughter from her mother, but her mother wanted the relationship to last at least six months, which is why she had the other dude tell me that, right? <laughs> Even when I passed six months, he said, don't. we both kind of pretend, Jeep was pretending, you <laughs> know, I was hoping it would, right? <laughs> and you, your daughter's the only one that's the weirdest of all the women who had a child before I met him, too, right? Only your daughter woke me up, right? And even then, I wouldn't have sex with the other two unless I felt blackmail, right? You know what blackmail is, right? I mean... That's when the child tells you the other guy raped her or tried to rape her, right? And then she wanted to say it to me, right? To see if there was a difference or something, right? And all I could do was lay there and say, well, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yes, right. I don't know, right? But the weird thing is I don't remember that either, right? <laughs> and I was just back from the cruise in 93, right? I was trying to date again after a scene of those still kind of right there, but still pretty sure it was almost over, right? I only wrote her until I met Daphne, right? And I'm the one trying to find a wife or a girlfriend, right? Don't you think? <laughs> Don't you think? And was driven crazy by the shit dance who wouldn't listen that I was waiting for marriage, right? Until I was 21, I didn't even have sex. I don't think. I don't think. Unless well, my friends are backing me out after the sex. Which means they're acting like fucking Jason Voorhees and trying to murder me ever since, right? Before marriage, right? <laughs> Which that's kind of the whole point of, I don't know, the Jason series, right? The camp counselors were having sex and partying, right? While Jason drowned in the damn lake, right? Well, there are signs out there that tell you do not go into the water. I know. <laughs> there are. So is it the camp counselor's fault or the dumb child who got drowned in the lake? It's not right. I know. Now, I can understand if he was swimming and they didn't give a damn. Right? But he probably went into the lake when he was supposed to, right? When no one else was there to see him. <laughs> Take responsibility for your own damn action, people, right? And quit blaming a disabled person who was disabled before you met Daphne do, right? The ex-wife, the ex-wife, right? Now, you don't know if she's real. She could be a character from Scooby-Doo or <laughs> Spaceballs. <laughs> oh, that's a real girl, I think. <laughs> I think... Or is that a non de plume? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Who's the real Shane, right? Is my name even supposed to be Shane Everly, right? Or is that made up? <laughs> is, that made up? is that a made up name, right? <laughs> that never should have came into existence by some people's account, right? Okay, okay. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.